This weekend, we were invited out to St. George Island in the Florida Panhandle to do some paddle camping with some friends of ours. We're here with a buddy of ours. Uh, you might remember Trailbreaker. He has his own YouTube channel. Hey guys, what's up? And uh, put a link to his channel below and his buddy... Eric. Eric. Welcome. And uh, he's actually <laughs> getting towed. He, he wanted to be towed in this tube. Uh, now, keep in mind that we're going way over there, the other side of that island, to go primitive camping for the weekend. So, um, good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to make for some good video. <laughs> Located just off North Florida's Gulf Coast, the 28-mile St. George Island is one of the last inhabited yet unspoiled barrier islands in Florida. St. George Island is also a very quaint town to visit. We will be launching our kayaks from Dr. Julian G. Bruce St. George Island State Park. We will then paddle across the St. George Sound to the primitive campsites at Gap Point. Got a picking table and a fire ring up here. Just gotta wait for uh, the rest of the group to show up here and figure out where we're all gonna set up. But uh, yeah, no more rain for right now, so we beat the rain. And uh, yeah, we're gonna scout this out and set up camp, and then we'll uh, show you what's up a little bit later. Trailbreaker, or as he's called, the Martha Stewart of backcountry cooking, was nice enough to bring the first night's meal. It was a fabulous mix of shrimp, sausage, green and red peppers, yellow squash, onion, and then seasoned with Old Bay, wrapped up in foil with butter, and cooked over the campfire. Ugh, it was amazing. take the kayaks out we're going to uh, paddle around the other side of the island and check out and see where the campsites are this is technically not where we were supposed to have been you have no idea where uh, we, we are. found out this is not campsite number two um <laughs> but the ranger campsite. didn't care that we were camped here luckily so we didn't have to move but this is a cool site because it was directly across uh, west so we sunset was absolutely beautiful last night but we're going to paddle around and try to find out where the other sites were we were supposed to be. But yeah, great day. Nice and sunny. Uh, not super hot yet, but it will be. And uh, lots of sand, lots of sand in places that uh, sand shouldn't be. But that's uh, camping on the beach. So, But uh, we're having lots of fun. We had a good dinner last night. We had some yummy s'mores with the... Uh, bought some of the marshmallows with the chocolate inside of them. Go see where the campsite is that we were supposed to be in. Oh, we got fish jumping around us and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty nice out here. More picking tables, more fire rings. But from what we had heard, there was only one shared picking table and fire ring between site one and two, which didn't make any sense to me. Because um, there's another picking table and a fire ring right over there. There's clearly a site with a picking table and a fire ring here. And another picking table and fire ring over here. But there are absolutely no markers anywhere coming in off the trails around here that these are campsites or marked one and two. I haven't seen more campsites yet, so I assume the ones we found were campsite one and two, but this is this is absolutely beautiful out here. It is so sweet under the sun. And even if my pocket's empty, I don't So if you're looking for a peaceful weekend with an amazing view, come check out the primitive beachside campsites on St. George Island in the Florida Panhandle. Until then, 
And as always, we, we hope, hope to see you outside. outside. Grab my bag and take my